I uh, grew up here in Maryland in Prince George's in Montgomery County. So I'm a local boy made good, I guess. I uh, went to College Park for my undergrad and returned there eventually to work. I teach now in the School of Public Policy there. Um, I spent 11 years as a middle school teacher. Um, I was uh, raised by a single mom. Um, and when she went to school to become a nurse, I was young, but my mom immigrated here and English was not her first language. So my sister and I, young as we were, were like helping her get through her nursing program and like we would help her with her homework. Um, and so I sort of felt like I, I got exposed to the healthcare system at a very young age. Uh, I always tell people I got involved because I went to a community association meeting and the second meeting I went to the whole board quit. Wow. And that left everyone kind of like, well, what do we do? And that's how I kind of got onto the board and got involved and in really learning about processes and how things work and how they don't work and where are the holes and how do we fill those holes. And I think that's most important because if you don't know how things work, if you don't know how processes work, you can't you can't fix anything. You can't find solutions. And My first job was as a bingo caller on the boardwalk and they would bring busloads of people down from Philadelphia, average age 80 to 85, and they would play bingo. Down there, it was actually called Skillo. But, um, and so I was the bingo caller for two of, the, two of those summers on the boardwalk. If you live in the environment, you understand what the state legislature kind of is. Right. If you don't, you think that everything is like Congress, you know, that you flip on the news at night, you're reading stories about them all the time. They're constantly engaged in legislative negotiations between the parties and that's not exactly the way that the General <laughs> Assembly works. Um, I was getting text morning, noon, night, weekends, holidays. It didn't matter. People got access to us. And I, I think that's probably a good thing because it's the people's input that helps make good policy, great policy. I mean, some people think that committee chairs are dictators. We're really not. I, and nobody in the legislature is a dictator, no matter how smart or powerful they are. We have to keep in mind the interests of all of the diverse people.